are in Tampa, Florida. This is Chica, the Shih Tzu. She is here to get groomed. So she is everybody's favorite Shih Tzu. Well, almost everybody's. We do have some Finn and Fiona fans too. <laughs> right, Chica? We keep Chica in full coat. We're going to try out our new brushes with her today. Our finger brush and our wet brush and the Panella brush and see how they work on a drop coat. We had that question asked earlier today when we did the Pomeranian on how it would work. Hi, Lisa and Mel. How were all the puppy kisses with the standard poodles? Hi, Greta. So we use the squalling care products on her. Are the puppies really cute? Chica Chica. Chica Chica. I bet they were kissy. <laughs> So Squalane Care is the only product that I use on this dog. I groom Squalane Care. <laughs> and honestly, guys, I do not do that much in the way of, you know, finding new products and reviewing them. The only reason I tried these products is because Barbara Bird recommended them. And I'm always very curious about what she has to say. And, you know, but I have my own particular things that are extremely important to me, too. So, you know, I tried them. And two out of three is not bad, for sure. Love the finger brush. And I love the Pinella. Or Pinello.
Shitsu Paparito. Say hi. I had someone come in today, one of my clients that's been coming to me for about 25 years, saw Gidget and fell in love. And she said, if you ever know of a Yorkie like that, that's, you know, uh, that is looking for a home, let me know. And she sat out there and held her for the longest time. And I'm like, oh my word, she loves Gidget. That's what this, my other Pomeranian client said, um, Billy and Jennifer, when they got their Pomeranians home after the squalling care, not only did they love how they felt, but they loved how they smelled. So, but yeah, she, I mean, she, I never seen her act like that about a dog. She just flipped over Gidget. Yeah, Gidget was right behind the counter, guys. She was right there. gets enough hair for a sporting trim like if he gets like that much on his skirt can you let me know I would love to do that sporting trim video with him so I just let me know if that'll be possible if you're able to get that much hair on him <laughs> if you want to get that much hair on him I would love to do a really nice sporting trim video that would just be so much fun <laughs>
dog has this much hair, I prefer to file the nails by hand instead of with a nail grinding tool. This is a 100-180 grit MacArt nail file. <laughs> about this brush it hugs the dog see the shape of the brush when I'm going around through here it's literally hugging her body when I go over the shoulder it's hugging down the front of the dog so it's getting her chest and her shoulder all at the same time it's just literally hugging the dog it's really cool
never even picked up my pen brush. Isn't that cool? Got the whole dog brushed out. This really seems to bring up a lot of shine. And I noticed when I used it on her head, when I used it this way, it even wraps around her head this way. So it hugs. No matter where you go, it hugs the roundness of the dog. Really, really nice. And it seems really comfortable to her to use, which is a big factor with me. It's super important to me to have these dogs comfortable as I work on them. No tugging, no pulling, you know, no damage to the coat. That's what's important, right? Because with a coat like this, you need something that's not going to damage it. Right, Chica Chica? Right, Chica Chica. You're my good girl. All right. Get some brown bands. Come on, honey. So I have elastic bands with every color under the rainbow, but I like these brown ones. If I'm putting them in a Yorkie or a Shih Tzu like her, and I want them to disappear into the coat color. So that's what I'm using on her today. Yes, it's the finger brush. And you know what's really neat? You see how fast she just dried? The air can get through the fingers. And I was showing this earlier when I dried the Pomeranian. When you're drying with a pin brush, the air's hitting the back of the brush and kind of spreading around as you brush. This one, the air's going right through it. <laughs> this brush is fantastic for cleaning my paw mat. And this is a Paw Brothers brush. It just grabs every little piece of hair off of there, leaves nothing behind. It's really nice. All right, Chica Chica. <clears throat> so her mom likes to take this hair that's right on top of her nose and she likes to band it. I have tried this a million times and I can never seem to get it. And I always end up taking it back out and doing it my way. I'm going to try one more time to do this. Her mom always has it done so perfectly. Her mom takes this little piece right here and she puts it in real tight in a band. Don't know how she does it. But she gets it right on in there. Chica? I think I did. It always looks messy to me, though. I'm talking to myself. In case you can't hear me. <laughs> I'm just over here carrying on a conversation with me. So whenever you tie up a dog's hair, 
Make sure your lines are straight when you're doing it. That helps to keep the hair from tangling. Keeps it all pulled up nicely. I get my bands from Laney LTD. It's known as the Color Coordinated Canine. You can pull it up that way too by just searching the Color Coordinated Canine. Their bands are nice because they're super stretchy. They don't break easily and they don't break hair. So she has the band on top of her nose. Then she has the next band fairly close to that. And then the next band is maybe one inch back from that. She doesn't have as much top knot as she used to have because she developed some sort of allergy thing where she has rubbed hair. But still beautiful. Yeah, these are the only bands. If you're tying up a dog's top knot, they are the only bands. Trust me. Some are too thick, some are too thin, some are, you know, they break easily. These are just perfect. All right, Chica Chica, let's do your feet. I need you to stand. Good girl. <laughs> but yeah, this finger brush, this is my new go-to brush as opposed to the Madden pen brush. And it's 10 bucks, guys. $10 on Amazon. You can't go wrong. I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. It's not for all coat types, but for Pomeranians, uh, Cavaliers, drop coats. I haven't tried it on anything else yet. I have a full coated Cavalier coming in tomorrow. No, they're not linked yet, but I will go back and do it, I promise. Actually, I can't do it from here. I can do it from, no, I can't do it from there. I'll have to do it later, sorry. I'll post it on the group too, on the Scissor For Real Facebook group. I didn't have time to go in and link anything. <laughs> I'll link it under all my videos going forward. So I'm doing the pads of her feet with a 40 blade. Part of the foot. today. You're being goofy. Yes, you are. You're being very goofy. Don't know if she's getting arthritis or what, but she doesn't want me touching this leg.
fine. You're fine, Mama. You're a good girl. So sometimes as groomers, we just notice subtle things with dogs. Her resistance about me working on this foot, no matter how I try to hold it or study it, you know, is just something different for her. She's never been so fussy about that. And sometimes when you bring your dog to the groomer, we pick up on subtle differences that you might not notice at home that are not characteristic for your dog. All right, let's set her part. So when I set my part, you sit, Chica? I typically mist over the coat. And I brush the hair in the direction towards the tail so that everything's going in that direction when I go to set my line with the comb. And typically, I will do about four inches at a time. You gotta stand, honey, because your body's curved or sit. No, you gotta sit. Right there. So I do it section at a time. I guess she wants to lay down for this. So it's like a four to six inch section. I don't try to do the whole thing at once because typically if you do, the front half is shaking out while you're setting the back half. And then once the part's all set, this is Igram Magic Mist. This works real good for this. So does the Artero Mix. And I hold it about four inches off the dog and spray it heavily all the way down. And then take your hands and pull the part apart. And that sets your part so even if the dog shakes out, it'll stay. Just a nice, well-set part. And doing things like this, whether you're at home and you're grooming your dog at home or you're a groomer, this is gonna help keep the dog from tangling and matting because you've got the hair separated, you've got the hair combed, you've got the static out by using a de-static, an uh, anti-static spray. Super important. And then you take your comb and you make sure to comb the dog from one end of the dog to the other, not missing anything, not under the arms, not the tail, not inside the back legs. You get every inch of the dog. Make sure you get in here in the flanks and you sink your comb all the way to the skin and you comb the entire dog. I usually do it systematically, starting at one end and working all the way around so that I don't miss anything. Be sure to get the ears, under the ears, under the chin, 
And if your comb starts to drag a little bit, just miss some um, anti-static in there to help it glide through. This way, Chica. I know. You're being lazy. You're being lazy, dog. Yes, you are. But it's really important to do this comb through. And don't forget the tail. So many people forget the tail. So you want to be sure that tail, you can comb all the way through it. And lift up the leg, get up under the arms, in the armpits. Don't forget the belly, the inside of the back legs. Comb the entire dog. All right, so Chica gets her beard trimmed. She's being a little bit moody. So I'm not sure she's going to want me to do this. For these silky coated dogs, I use 46 tooth thinners if I am blending it. But she doesn't like her to get too long in the beard. Her mom feels it makes her look too old. And she's a good girl. Yes, you are. The phone kind of messed up earlier today when I was live, so the teddy bear dog did not get finished live. And I did not leave that video up for public viewing, but anybody who had a link could still watch it because it was just a poor video. Sometimes that happens when I'm live, you know, especially if I'm early in the video and the phone does that black screen thing, then I don't want to leave it out there because it's it doesn't look very professional, you know. It's kind of hard for live videos to look professional anyway, but I try. But if I feel they're just going to look too bad, I just take it down. Right? I know. I like using these thinning shears for this because it doesn't give me any harsh lines. It's hard to blend this short hair into this long hair anyway. So the thinning shears just help a little bit with that. We can see Gidget trying on that harness, but Gidget needs a bath, so. She doesn't look very good right now. Might have to give her a bath before we can try on that pretty harness, huh? At least brush her hair. So you know the uh, Lhasa that I groom, whose mom likes the beard short and the body long, and I tried to convince her to grow the ears out, because from a side view, when you have this beard trimmed, if you have the ears long, it looks much better. But when you shorten the ears too, it looks terrible. So thankfully, she's agreed to let that dog's ears grow out, and I'm so happy.
Chica Chica. You know what we need? We need a squeaky. Yes, we do. The next one gets over here. Mm -hmm. The next one gets way over there, Chica Chica. to do under her tail. Stand. I'm using a tin blade. And she gets quite a bit cut out under here. Because she is a pet dog and she does get kind of messy if this were a dog who were being shown. Of course, we would never trim out that much. But because she's not a show dog, we do things to make life better for her and her pet parent. Chica, you need a bow. Yes, you do. Let's find her a pretty bow. What do you think, Chica? Like this one? Nah, that's not your color. It's not your color. Let's see. Let's, oh, this one's pretty. I like that one. Hmm. We'll have to go with one of those. Yeah, we will. What do you think? You think they're pretty? Which one do you like? Hmm? Look, which one? You're staring at this one. You like this one or this one? Hmm. Which one? You want me to pick? Okay, I'll pick. She says she just can't decide. Lay down. Down. Come on. Down. Good girl. Here you go. Yes, my good girl. Yes, my good girl. Down. You can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Chica. And guess who we have coming in this Saturday, guys? We have... Oh, what are their names? Um, Temptist and Hershey the Shih Tzus. They are so stinking cute. And tomorrow we have Finn and Fiona. I'm gonna try to get all those on their own separate videos. So it'll be multiple videos a day instead of one long one. I'm liking that. Sometimes I like to do the long ones, other times I like to do 
if I have dogs like this one that I want to have on her own video, then, you know, it's better for me to just do one. All right, let's check that beard. See how it looks. And I like Juju having his own video. What names would suit a Shih Tzu? Well, if I had a boy, I'd name him Buddha. <laughs> Snuffles. Beard's crooked. Stop being so silly today. All right, guys. Chica's about ready to go home, except her beard looks crooked. So Chica has a Instagram page. The name of the page is Champ and Chica, but Champ sadly passed away a few months ago. So I don't know if she's changed the name of the page or kept it the same, but she takes the cutest pictures. Don't you, Chica? Do you take the cutest pictures? Are you just the prettiest girl? Where's that pretty girl? Where's mama? Chica, chica. Where's your mama? Good girl. Good girl, chica. She's so pretty, isn't she? I love you, chica, chica. All right, guys. I'm going to log off for tonight. I will link the brush under the video in just a couple of minutes and I will put the link on the Facebook page so you guys can find it I just loved it it's awesome it is like the best thing ever for these drop coats and for the Pomeranians so far I'll try it on other dogs and let you know what I think all right guys we'll see you tomorrow bye